Hello and welcome to Sheepdog Says. I'm Sheepdog and today I was going to record a bit earlier in the day. I had planned to kind of get up, do some bits and pieces, you know, belt out a video and then just spend the day chilling out. Um, I got a bit sidetracked because uh, I, I feel, I'm sure I've mentioned before, uh, I, I like to write. I do a lot of different writing projects. Um, anyone who's followed Kevin and I on our exploits from the very beginning will know that we went through a phase where we did a, a show called our Indie Publishing Adventure where we, we talked about being writers and trying to be writers. Um, we, you know, interviewed a few people in the in writing and, and yeah, it was a great learning curve. It was a great kind of opportunity to kind of get stuck in and, and learn a bit of, about like just pushing ourselves as writers. Um, I mean, I go back quite far on, um, you know, always having like a little bit of some knacks for it. I used to, you know, write rubbish stories when I was a kid and things like that. Uh, I've always liked to keep a journal or whatever online since things like Live Journal existed. Um, I remember when I was training to be a nurse, I used to just wind everybody up because they'd all be doing their essays weeks in advance and spend so much time and effort planning for them and so forth. I always had a saying that said I needed to be in the zone, which basically meant that I needed the stress of knowing it was due in two days' time and then I would actually bother to do it. And that worked well for me all the time, all the way through, even the, the later times I went to university, just knowing that I didn't have to do anything until the last couple of days and I would at least pass was enough for me. Um, I kind of learned towards the very end of my degree that if I got it all done, if I put that pressure on myself earlier, then I'd get a better grade and it worked out well. But I even remember when I was training to be a teacher, um, somebody said that they'd been writing their essays for something like, I don't know, three weeks. I, part of me feels like some people ex exaggerate, some people lie, some people are, are talking nonsense. But one girl said she'd been trying to write one essay for three weeks. She asked me how I was getting on and I said, oh yeah, I finished mine the other day. And she said, how long did it take you? And I said, about 45 minutes. And she looked at me and she said, how? And I said, well, I basically wrote um, introduction about what I'm talking about, what I think is the truth, someone who agrees with me, someone who disagrees with me, somebody who thinks something entirely different altogether, what my thoughts are on that, and then summarize my overall thoughts. And then I just did that for two more points. And then I wrote a conclusion. And she was like, yeah, but you must have filled in the gaps. And I said, well, yeah, that's the bit that took 35 minutes. The, the frame took me 10 minutes. I just wrote bosh, 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 bosh. And then I went and found an opinion, found someone who agreed with it, found someone who disagreed with it, found two more opinions, and then summarised it up. And she was looking at me like, I don't like you. I don't like you at all. That's that, This has been three weeks of my life of stress. And when we got our grades back, I had, I didn't look her in the eye because I got something like, I think it was a B or an A, and she'd got like a C. <clears throat> and I said to her, well, next time if you want to sit and you want to talk about it and you want me to help you write them, more than happy to do it. But I don't think we ever spoke again after that point, which is her loss really, because I think I'd cracked it. You know, the instructions are quite clear on how to do these things. That's another massive thing I learned. The instructions are always there. I've tried to adapt that into other types of writing. So at work, I'm the one who writes the, the blog posts. I write the um, press releases sometimes, that kind of thing. You know, I try and promote the company. And I get a lot of, you know, good feedback from it. It's been really nice. You know, I put stuff up and I go, who wrote this? Who published that? And it's like, oh, yeah, sorry, that was me. I did it in my lunch break. And they're always like, yeah, good stuff. Um, <clears throat> so I've tried to turn that into something that I can actually do uh, you know, on a more regular basis. I don't really get things like Fiverr and Freelancer and all that. I tried to sign up to Freelancer over the summer last year and all I get now is a boatload of spam from it. It's been a bit of a nightmare. But um, no, I, I really enjoy doing it. It's something that I can, I just find, once I'm in that frame of mind, I can do it lots. I started writing my blog, Sheepdog Writes, which is still a website. I don't update it anymore. I stopped it when I started doing this. But if you ever get bored and you wanted to flick through some stuff, Sheepdog Writes, dot com is still there um, I looked at it yesterday and weirdly because it still shares the articles four times a day like it did when I was actually writing them it still gets quite a decent amount of of reads I guess it tweets them and you know people are finding them through searches and I can see what people have typed into get to it or come to it so I almost I looked at it yesterday and I thought I probably need to start talking about the the the, the vlog on there and and trying to get that going because it looks like I, I built that up to a certain point and then I just walked away from it, which is a bit silly, but it achieved the point I wanted it to. It got me writing again. It got me, I was trying to write a thousand words a day, keep that churning every day. Um, no matter what, I needed to sit down and write a thousand words about whatever came to mind and I just forced myself to do it. And that's what's helped me sit down and do these vlogs every day is I'm in the frame of mind of sitting down, finding a topic and doing it. 
Now, because I wrote on the on the blog that I wanted writing gigs, I ended up with a few different things come through. I had a guy from Poland, I think it was, who he's a really good computer um, like fixer and put together and whatever. He works in IT and he has a website and a company and he's a consultant and he didn't know how to translate everything he'd written in Polish into English. So he sent me a load of pidgin English pretty much that was just it was what he kind of had pieced together and he said to me turn this into an actual site and I sat there and did it for him and he was very pleased and you know we've got an agreement that I'll do that for him um you know I've got some friends you know in, in America who I, I write with and um you know oddly uh, Gubbins who I know watches these videos he randomly linked me to a woman uh, called Tony who was asking on Twitter for someone to write with and that's what I've been doing today. I've been working on a project that I've been writing with her for about, I don't know, three, four months, maybe. It feels like longer. I don't really know how long it's been now. But um, that literally came about by by him sending a tweet going, I know someone who will write with you. We actually met up at a Comic-Con in Birmingham a couple of months back just to sit and go through notes and stuff. So it's been funny, actually. I'm, at the moment, we're working on um, trying to write a pilot for a TV show, a drama, and... Um, I quite enjoy how my brain works differently. I mean, when I used to write, with, I'm going to go a bit of a tangent. When I used to write with Kev, he'd write out some of the beats he'd want to do, and I'd write out some of the beats, and we'd push them together. And and it, we, I remember we went to London and back on a train, and on the first train down there, we wrote out the entire um, frame of a book, and on the way back, we wrote the entire frame of another book, and then we sat and we wrote them, and we kept sending each other back the drafts, swapping over. So we never got fatigue because when I was fed up and writing my one, I sent it to him to carry on and he'd send me his one. And, you know, they were our books. But um, that was really good because Kevin and I are on a similar wavelength. We kind of know what to expect. We changed certain bits. There were certain bits we both didn't like that we tweaked. I think we both agreed there are bits in the books we wrote that we released them and people seemed happy enough. They weren't perfect. The biggest thing with them was it needed editing, it needed, you know, revising and stuff. But um, I think there's little bits we both agree we didn't quite like on there. There were some slapsticky bits that I wouldn't have put in one of them, and yeah. But when uh, when I met Tony through through Govins, he uh, put me across, and we we were chatting about. So she had an idea of a bit of a TV drama type thing, you know, the sort of thing you'd see on, I don't know, ITV or BBC, sort of an afternoon or an evening slot, and we sort of went through it, and I was like, well, it doesn't really, it kind of goes along. It needs some stuff to happen that kind of ruins it all for everyone. And and so we've had conversations and sometimes I go to the far deep end of the spectrum and I'm like, right, you know, they all discover their lizard people. And I'm like, no, they can't discover their lizard people. Let's bring this right back. Um, I think we ended up on a point where I basically said, so, you know, they're in this event and then something happens and most of the people involved are... Most of the people in the beginning uh, relate to that. We've got a, a community, they're all meeting at a play group and then the local school's on fire and then that kicks off all the all of the drama that happens from that point forward, you know, from that day, from that moment and so forth. So it is kind of like a, a continuous drama type thing, but that moment was the catalyst. And that, that I felt maybe a, year, a couple of years ago, I wouldn't even be able to come up with catalysts to think about things that made it kind of punchy and reactionary. And yeah, I've been, I've been really pleased with what we've written so far. Um, every now and again, we have a, a briefing sort of call and we go through it all. And sometimes I'm a bit like, well, I don't, I don't really have anything to say today. And then we get off the call and suddenly I've, I've got a whole load more scenes and stuff to write into it. And, you know, again, I'm going on the internet and just finding lines and, and advice and it's weird living in a time where I can literally go online and find everything I need to write these. Like, I thought essays were easy five years ago when I was training to be a teacher and I could go on Google Scholar and I could just find opinions left, right and centre. But even now, I'm just like, you know, I want to write what I want to write this drama. What what do I need to write? How do I need to write? A, what format do I need to write a script in? What, what format do I need to write the speech in? What format do I need to write this, that and the other in? What are the structures like? You know, it's all there. And I know, I'm, again, just doing the vlog and just talking about this, I've met all these people who can advise me, tell me what to do, um, you know, even helping people, uh, you know, work on bits and pieces that they're working on. Um, it's just been ridiculous. I, I can't I can't even get my words straight at this point. I'm just trying, I'm just thinking it's, it's bizarre that because I've asked or because I mentioned it, that all you lot have kind of come in and helped me out. And I just thought, you know, what? I'm going to do a video about writing today because it is, it has been the bulk of what I've done today other than the odd little Pokemon raid or spending time with the kids. But no, I'm quite excited. I've got, I've got that plus I think it's three other projects on the go with Tony. And then I've got, I started writing a book 
Well, I, st I started writing a comic about five years ago that then turned into a game that I sat and actually started programming um, to such a point that, it, that so long ago I started doing that that I actually paid for the Unreal Engine and started hacking away in it. And then I've got on my account the other day to try and get um, whatever that game's called, that Fortnite is it that everyone's playing? And um, because they made Unreal free, they've given me 30 quid to use in there. And I'm, I'm looking at that now thinking, do I go back and make my game and pay for assets? I don't think 30 quid would go very far, but um, you know, it's made me think. But I'd started writing that as a detective slash, well, no, it, was, it wasn't a detective uh, mystery. It was like a, a murder mystery slash zombie apocalypse story that was I was very excited about. I think it's very cool, but I've done the typical thing, which is what we started to do when Kevin and I were writing together. I've got lots of things on the go. I've always joked that I probably need a broken leg so that I've got the time and the focus and the forced into a corner to do them all. But um, no, I feel really energetic about this. I feel really excited. And I'm thinking this is, again, I mentioned the other day about the, the pads that I'm going to be getting, the, the, the gel to make, you know, to fix my health issues. But I feel like if that fixes my energy, if I'm going to be firing in all cylinders here, I'm going to have lots of, stu lots of stuff to do. So, yeah, I'm excited. I don't really know the moral of this sort of video was more a case of, A, if you have any writing stuff you want to do, talk to me. I'm glad to help, happy to be involved. B, if you just need help. I know Anna was saying the other day, for example, she was trying to write an essay and it was driving her nuts and she didn't know where to start. And I was I was trying to give her off-the-cuff advice, but it was equally, I didn't want to be one of those people who just starts, to, oh, this is what you need to do, blah, 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 you know. But if you do ever need help, people, Anna included, if you're watching, I'm more than happy to sit and talk to you about it because the topic's not relevant. I was having a debate with someone about six months ago where I was saying I'm pretty sure now, having been through uni and been through teaching and learning how it all kind of works, if you said to me I need you to write an essay on X, I could probably go and do it. It'd probably take me an extra day or so to go and find a bit of information, but the point of the essay isn't really to know the information, it's about finding the pieces and putting them in the right structure for, for the format to work. Um, so yeah, it's a bit like, I mean, I know that's not really the spirit of the thing. I know like it's, it's like saying for a multiple, uh, multiple choice question uh, test, you, the, the, the answers aren't relevant, it's getting the A, B or C right. But my point is more, if you're at uni and you wanna get a grade, I reckon I can help with that sort of thing now. I reckon I've got it figured out in my mind and I cracked it. So, yeah, bit of a, a random one today, bit of a tangent, but I kind of thought they can't all be things about me having wacky issues and so forth. The wackiest thing I think that happened today was finding out that my son had flooded our bathroom, made a mess everywhere. I had to go tidy that up and to give him a bit of a ticking off. Um, so not really much else has happened in a kind of, oh, look at this funny story sort of way, but... No, I think not all videos need to be wacky. Some of these can be a bit just about stuff that I've done or whatever. Uh, if you, you know, have any comments or any kind of bits that you're... If you've ever written anything, I'd love to know about it. If you are into that kind of thing, let me know. Show me your sites. I'm always up for uh, reading other people's work and interested in learning more. Um, if you need any help, as I said, let me know. It's just something that I'm into. Um, work have been really supportive of that at the moment, giving me lots of cool bits and pieces to do that are just helping me stretch that further and learn a bit more about what I can and can't do, or where my limits are and that. But at the moment, it just feels like there's loads to learn and lots to do. Thanks very much for watching today. If you like what you've seen, if you like these videos so far, give me a like, a comment, a uh, subscribe, you know, watch more videos. There's about 46 of them at this point. They'll, some, some of you might be watching later on and there'll be hundreds, but yeah, I'm going to keep, you know, putting these out every day and uh, I appreciate all your feedback. So thanks very much and I'll see you soon.